Um, I just think we started playing more direct. Um, that team's got a lot of firepower throughout their lineup. You know, you screw around with the puck in front of them, they can make a serious amount of plays and make very good plays in the uh, O zone as well, getting pucks off the wall, fighting an F3, and um, very active D that can find holes too. So we didn't do that very well in the first of covering that. Uh, I thought going forward we did a much better job. How difficult do you find it to manufacture urgency out of the game when you're playing against a team that's actually fighting for its playoff lines? I mean, that's what we've been talking about uh, for the last probably three weeks or so. Um, just our urgency needs to be there. I mean, this is... This is hockey that uh, we got to make sure we're ready for. And um, I thought we matched it in the second and third and, um, you know, came ready to play in those two periods. The first one, like I said, just um, not good enough for many of us. Um, you know, we came in here, we, we knew we needed a lot better and cleaned it up and um, thought we did a lot better job going forward. Like I said. What did you make of Sammy's response after the top first? Yeah, great. I mean, again, we didn't help him out a whole lot in the first. So made some big saves still in the first to keep us as a, the score as it was. Um, and obviously a couple of massive saves down the stretch that kept the game to 4-4 before you know, going into OT. So um, yeah, he's been amazing for us here these uh, last couple of weeks. And um, it's been great to see just his confidence um, just skyrocket. How difficult is it to see Jake go off like that, just the way he battles? For hey, he battles a lot. He does a lot of great things for us on the ice, penalty kill-wise as well. And um, he's a warrior out there. So um, you know, obviously it's never fun to see someone go down like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always a great game against these guys. Um, you know, obviously, original six, both fan base very passionate about their team. Um, obviously, that team is uh, fighting like we just talked about for their playoff hopes. So, um, you know, you can see their fan base here tonight, and it was great just a competitive kind of fan base going back and forth at each other. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was great to hear just a reaction for Austin, and you know, unfortunately, it wasn't able to happen. But knock on wood, hopefully, uh, you know, something happens. It's hard to comment this, you know, like. Uh Second game like that for us. We need to, uh, we need to still think about this special right now time. Uh, yeah, but most important how we're back to the game. It's uh, it's nice, but we lost point again. Uh, okay, like we have what we have right now. What do you think about how you played and how the team played for the second period on? Oh, how I said it's hard to comment. It's not to. Last two games is not what we want to see. What do you think of the atmosphere in the building tonight? The fans gasping every time Austin touched the puck. It's great, you know, like it's, it's, I'm so happy because the guys support us, you know, like and what time we score fourth goal, you know, like it's, uh, building is so loud, you know, like what time we make some saves, it's, guys just try to get push us, and yeah, it's great, you know, like uh, so enjoy to play here. It's, a little bit sad about this last game for us in this, in this regular season here, and we lost some point. Did you say your duty, tell yourself after the first period to get like, refocused because that goal goes in right at the end of the first? Nothing, you know, like I did, didn't feel I need to change something, you know, like uh, I need to just to get some mental strong and continue to work, you know, like, uh, like I didn't feel I need to change a lot. Did you talk to anyone? No, no, I didn't. Didn't talk. I'm just doing some my routine. Uh, get some sit here and drink some water. To try to recover a little bit. Yeah. You guys are locked into the third seed now, but how important do you feel like the last couple games? I guess you only get one game right, to prep for the playoffs. We'll see. It's hard to say right now. You know, like especially right now, a lot of emotion. Yeah, it's maybe just more emotion talk right now. Uh, no, like. Tomorrow motions go down, yeah, and we will be continue to talk about this, yeah. Well, obviously, you know, we knew there was a situation coming in, and um, for whatever reason, we didn't have that urgency uh, quite like they did early on, and, and certainly showed defensively. Um, and then I think after that, um, you know, the, the uh, it came full throttle for us, and I thought we did a good job in the second period and the third of. Uh, you know, generating momentum, controlling play, creating opportunities, obviously worked our way back into the game. Um, gave ourselves a chance to win. We just obviously didn't execute enough uh, to get one more. Um, came down a couple of power plays at the end. We had some good looks, and, and uh, there was carried on until overtime. Had a little extra space, and unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. How difficult is it to manufacture urgency when you're going against a team that actually has it legitimately? Uh, 
yeah, I mean, we're not in their in their shoes in their situation, but we have our own sense of urgency on what we're trying to work for and uh, where things are at for us and what we're trying to do. So, um, you know, we, we, it was disappointing. Obviously, the first period. That's uh, you know, we want to be better in, in this situation. Uh, it is what it is. You know, at times when things don't go your way, you don't uh, um, play to uh, your expectation, how you respond, and how we handle it. And I like the response uh, uh, coming out of it. Well, I think he's done it all year. It's it's it. Uh, I think it's probably, you know, I can't speak for him, but I think he'd agree. It's it's he's had to battle his way uh, from a difficult start, and and uh, even at times in games when things don't always go his way, you can just see how hard he's fighting and doing everything he can to give us a chance and make that next save. And he certainly did that again today. So, um, you know, as a teammate and, and and playing in front of him, you want to reward him for that and do a good job and and uh, acknowledge it when uh, when necessary. Tonight, it's always special playing here. Obviously, uh, Hockey Night in Canada is, uh, is, is a great thing, a great tradition, and uh, you feel it in the city, you feel it in the building. So, um, yeah, obviously, we just want to be on the right side of the result. The sense that Mitch is finding his groove now after that long layoff. I would agree. I, I think you can just see his, uh, his reads. Uh, um, just how quick he's making plays, how on top he is on things, and um, just with this hockey sense. And like I said, his reads, he's just, you can just see the, uh, his, his understanding of the game is so high, and it's really starting to come, uh, come for him and flow to him. Not just the playmaking and, and putting on the score sheet, but even without the puck, which leads to so many good things. I think just like our intensity and, and everything just elevated. I don't think um, in the first, we're obviously playing a very desperate team, a team that's fighting for their lives. Um, and they were just much more desperate than us in the first. And um, I just thought we got playing in the second, just took it one shift at a time. And obviously, uh, we were able to battle back. What's it like to hear the fans chant MVP and gasp when they, whenever you touch the puck these days? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really nice, obviously, um, you know, to have the support that we have in the city and the fan base and, and all that stuff. It, I mean, it means a lot. It's obviously, um, you know, really cool and, and really special. So, um, yeah. Have you, kept, have you kept your feet on the ground throughout this, this pursuit? I just, yeah, I mean, I just try to take the same approach every game. Um, I feel like I've just been repeating myself the last three weeks, but it is uh, it is what it is. And, um, you know, my approach every game, every night is, is the same. And, um, you know, I just try not to really overthink anything, just go out and play my game and compete. Having said that, can you do that approximately? What the thought process will you get to within one that much time left? Um, I mean, just, you know, Got to keep rolling all four lines and continue to put the pressure uh, on them. Obviously, we kind of got them back on their heels, and you know, we got one, we got another, and you know you could feel the momentum shift. And then obviously Johnny gets uh, gets the one to tie it. So um, you know you got to kind of tip your hat to them as well. In the third period, they played a solid, solid third, and um, they hung in there. And then obviously capitalized on the power play there in overtime. So um, you know obviously we'd like that point back. Um, but I think there was a lot of good things to take out of the game. Nice to see Sammy rebound after. Yeah, I mean he's. Uh, that's what I admire so much about him. Honestly, is he's uh, he's got such a quick memory, and um, he made some unbelievable stops that um, you know kept the game where it was tonight for us. So um, yeah, I, you know you can only ask him to do so much. I think some of those miscues were obviously on us, and um, you know we're to blame for that. But he came up with some big saves. How tough make, was it? What do you make of Mitch's night? It looks like he's kind of back to where he was before the injury. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it takes a couple games kind of to get back into it, but um, he's a special player, and um, you know, it's no surprise that he's kind of found his rhythm and found his groove, um, you know, in such a such a quick amount of time. So we obviously love to see that he's a huge part of this team. How tough was it, CJ, to leave the game that way? Yeah, it was it was tough. Thankfully, he's uh, he's okay, but um, you know, that's. Just, He's the you know, kind of guy, the kind of teammate. He's going to do everything he can. He's going to sacrifice his body every night for the team. And he doesn't, it doesn't matter how he does it. He's, he's going to do his best to get it done. So, um, you know, he's a complete, complete warrior and, and an amazing teammate. Bobby's got a lower body injury. Don't know the uh, severity of it. Uh, um, and Jake looks like he'll be fine. He couldn't come back, mainly just due to swelling around his eye. And his vision wasn't. Was in, impaired because of the swelling, but it's uh, it's gotten better here now. So if that trend continues. He'll be fine. Did you guys turn things around after the first period sort of match there? Players just decided it was important. 
to we know how to play. When, when it's time to play, we show what we're capable of. What did you think of Sammy both four goals in the first period and then shutting them down the rest of the way? The yeah, the first like the first period. I mean, I should say the not even the first period, like ten minutes, and you know. At 10 minutes into the first period, we're up one nothing. Shots are 5-5. Five, five. We're actually on an odd man rush at that time and don't manage it well. And then it's 1-1. One, one. And then, you know, we just we just were not good from there. Um, but uh, so I don't have any of that on, on Sammy. You know, he's a reflection of the group. Um, but it was important that we play with some pride, you know. And that's why it was important for Sammy, you know, he's discussed, you know, taking him out and, you know, it wasn't unanimous in there by any means about what to do with it. But I, I felt it was really important to, like, I felt our team was going to be better and I felt Sammy needed to be a part of that. And, and obviously glad that it worked out the way he did because he was, he was outstanding. Um, and in the end, is, you know, ultimately it, to me is the reason why we get the extra point um, because he didn't let them get the next goal. Or did we get a point, I should say? He didn't let them get the next goal. But, uh, yeah, obviously glad the way the guys responded. Max takes a lot of penalties. That seems to be part of his game. Are you happy with how many penalties he takes? I mean, is that something you'd like him to contain a little bit? Or is that you just accept that that's the player? I mean, I don't like the penalty he took tonight. No, that's the question. I don't think Max likes that penalty, but all the other stuff takes Pretty good penalties, in my opinion. Today was not one of them. Anything to the guys after the first, or was it left un unsaid? I was brief, but it, I was brief more. So, but it was more so putting it on them. They, they need to decide. Like I said, they, we've shown over long periods of time here now that we know how to play, um, and that's not us out there. We need to be better. So, um, like I said once once we decided it was important, you saw the difference. The energy in the building tonight, just every time Austin touches the puck, the, the temperature rolls in the ground. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, that's a major distraction. It doesn't help us, you know, what we're trying to accomplish on the ice. But but uh, it's exciting. I get it, you know. And it's uh, especially when he gets to 69, you can see it. It's really, it's growing, anticipating. And now you're, you know, you're feeding it. You know, I'm feeding it. You know, I want, it, I want it to happen. But uh, um, uh, I wanted it for the fans, you know. Um, but uh, I'm glad the game's over. Let's move on. Considering that, though, the, the appetite of the fans, how difficult is your decision going to be with only two games left to rest them or play? Well, I don't think these fans are going to travel us on the road, but but uh, we'll make the decision, you know, that we think's best for the team. We got guys dropping right now. So we're going to have to dress 18 skaters. So we got some guys that will not be available for us. So that in itself is going to be a factor. And the salary cap is what it is. We can only have so many guys. So we got lots of things to, to sort out here the next little bit. How crucial is that, Sheldon, the last two games to get some of the things that happened Thursday and next night in the first period out of this equation? Sorry about that. How important the last two games to get some of the things that happened Thursday in the first period tonight out of the equation going into the playoffs? Well, I, like I said, I, I think – I think our team has shown that we know how to play. And that's why I didn't have to say much in the first intermission. I, I like to think when when the game matters and it's it's competitive, we're gonna we're going to be ready for the moment. Um, you know, and, and even through this, I think we've we've this last little stretch, I think we've we've played some pretty good hockey. There's times when we haven't, for sure, and it's been inconsistent. But uh, overall I think we've done a pretty good job as a team. So, you know, I, I hated the first period, I hated Needed the last 10 minutes of the first period, I should say. I thought we started just fine. And, uh, you know, big power play goal gets us going. And I thought we were good in that first 10 minutes. Um, it's almost, you know, Austin hit the crossbar, I believe, and was in alone. And then we got a power play goal. Seemed like one of those nights where maybe our guys thought it was going to be easy, you know, and, and we know how that goes when that's the case. And that's kind of what, you know, seemed like it was. So um, it's not going to be much coming easy from here.